Thank you. Uh, Minister, the negative impacts of higher energy prices on consumers, society and the econo economy have been felt. We did good things in the budget to help people with higher energy prices and there are supports there, but we have to stand up and reassure the public that we have energy security. We have to be able to keep the lights on. We need unbroken availability of energy sources at an affordable price. And we must do all we can to ensure the most vulnerable in our society do not suffer massive energy costs or disruption of power. We have to provide confidence to households and businesses with respect to the security of Ireland's energy supply. Energy security is enhanced by having in place a multitude of robust emergency plans that seek to mitigate offset or prevent supply issues emerging. But I think to really lower prices for consumers, that is most crucial. We have to look at alternatives. It is stark that the CRU warns there is a critical need to procure temporary energy so we don't hit winter this year with shortages or worse outages. This bill gives provision to be made to allow for alternative environmental assessments by the EPA when considering license applications in respect of designated developments. From an environmental perspective, the proposed legislation provides for a second assessment as part of the licensing process in a way that will allow the objectives of the EIA directive to be met. The proposed legislation also provides for a streamlined licensing process in emergency circumstances that still affords appropriate public participation in decision making. And that is really important, public participation in decision making. From an energy policy perspective, pending successful license and other consent applications, the legislation would facilitate delivery of a second trench of additional temporary emergency electricity generation within the shortest time frame achievable. But Minister, let's face it, we are the country with the largest opportunity for wind generation, an Ireland on the edge of Europe, and yet despite our immense natural resources for offshore wind, Scotland and Portugal outperform us in every adopting renewable energy technologies. This bill will allow for us to really get in the game and provide real and affordable choice for consumers. And again, I just like I'm speaking to people and businesses and you know people that particularly older people that have that are finding the cost of living and there is a crisis there. So we have to make sure and give security to the people of Ireland that we are doing our best to make sure that everything is affordable and that no one, or we'll never have a power cut of course, which is the main thing. But again, Minister, I really do think this legislation is going to go a long way to going forward. And this is all about going forward at lower costs for everybody involved. And I want to thank you. That's good. Thank you very much.